my channel so I've just stuck a load of washing on and I'm going to try and figure out what to have for breakfast because I'm not quite sure first of all I will make myself a nice hot drink so guys I've got an Easter egg and what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into 25 grams and then that will be the sins 25 grams is around six and a half sins so uh, I'm just going to weigh, weigh the egg out it was 75p the cream egg is nine sins on its own but this egg um, I have to break it down I'm not quite sure how much the whole egg weighs but we're gonna find out right guys let's turn it on nope it's gone into ounce let's change it here we go there's grammage hey wants to play around today this is why I get this is why I need some new ones change a unit there we go that's on grams so I'm just going to quickly open up this egg okay and let's see here is the whole egg well it's gone in half so we see how much half weighs right half of that egg is 52 grams as you can see there it's 52 can you see it got like 53 it's changed okay so that's half of that egg so now I'm going to have to break it into bits until it gets to 25 grams. It's hard work because like, I want the whole egg. Hold on. Yeah. So let me just break the egg. It's 31, we can't have that. 23. It's 28. 25 grams, there we are. Oh, it's gone 26, but that will have to do. So there we go. It's good to break it up like that. And look at that, I've just done the rest of the egg and that is 25 grams. So when you break the egg up, that was only half an egg. So when you break it up, you actually get more. Do you get more out of it? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's all broken up and that's ready to be weighed in the bag. I've done this one. Right guys, so I'm gonna uh, do some breakfast. So I'm just gonna have a fruit platter. Well, I say fruit platter, I'm just gonna have some fruit. I'll just there we go. We got an apple, satsuma, two pears, and a banana, and that is. And I'm gonna have a yogurt as well. A nice strawberry yogurt, which is a half a sin. So two pears. That's speed. A clementine is speed, apple is speed, strawberry speed, banana is free food. So that is breakfast. Yeah, I've got about my cup of tea guys. So I just put a tea bag in there. I'm going to use a bit of candle oil because that is a sweetener. It's better than using sugar. You're meant to sin sweetener but I don't. I never have. Guys, I've just got the milk out. Uh, I'm only going to have you know, a, a bit of milk. So let's pour the hot water. Give it a stir first. Then, there we go. This is my milk, my tea. I don't like strong tea. For the boss. Perfect. Hello guys. So uh, I'm popping to Slim World tonight. Um, basically, um, I wanted to go to a group and uh, you know get some uh, ideas, 
um, from other group members. Um, so I'm going to head down there in a bit. And uh, what else? I want some more hi-fi bars as well. The new ones, the Millionaire... Is it shortcake? Oh my god, they're so yummy. The best hi-fi bars ever. Uh, they are my new favourite one. So, you now out goes Rocky Bar and in comes the Millionaire Shortcake. So, uh, I'm just going to quickly sort myself out, get ready. And I'll be making my way up there. My friend's weighing in tonight as well. Um, my friend Lucy. So, hopefully that she does well today. And uh, I think I'm going to... I'm not sure if she's going to pick me up or if uh, I'm going to meet her there. But I said to her that I'm going to do uh, a Mayflower chicken curry tonight. And she's never had it. So I said, if you want, you can pop round after group. We can go shopping after group and we get the ingredients. And I said that I'll, I'll make it for her so she can try it. Because um, I'm making it anyway. So um, it gives me some company as well. So uh, she's a good friend of mine. Uh, so hopefully uh, that will all go well, but I'm going there for a bit of image therapy because I am kind of struggling at the moment. I'm finding it hard to stick to plan, so hopefully I'll get some uh, some help and some inspiration in group today. So guys, breakfast was good. I enjoyed it. So now I'm just going to go for a walk and I'm going to head off to Tesco's because I need to buy some chicken. Um, I like buying the chicken in Adsta because Tesco's is a better deal. You get more grammage for the price. So I'm going to head off to uh, Tesco's. It's a bit windy today, but at least it's not raining. Hello guys, so I'm back from Slimming World. My friend lost a pound, I'm very pleased for her. And um, so I popped into Tesco's and I popped into Morrison's and still couldn't get everything I wanted, so I'll have to do that tomorrow. But let me spin you around and show you what I got. I got some bargains. I've got some diced onion. Now this was like £1.82 a pop, which this is going to be used for tonight. I've got some more of these. These are the best hi-fi bars Slimming World do. I love them. They're the best. Now this, this Fanta was £2, normally three fifty. a nice bargain there. And look at that. It was £2, £1, because it's got to be used today. Half price, a nice little bargain. I'm going to do a nice lamb shank roast dinner as well. And I bought my, more hot chocolate. So that's two sins per sachet, four for a pound. I bought some broccoli as well. I'm thinking of doing cosy cottage pie. I've not had that in a while, so I might try that maybe tomorrow. And maybe the roast dinner, uh, probably Sunday, I think. So I normally have a roast on a Wednesday, but today I'm having a curry because I'm in a hurry. Right guys, so before I start making the good old Mayflower chicken curry, I'm going to have a spot of tea. Yes, I've just boiled the kettle, so I'm going to have a nice cuppa. I've already got my tea bag in there. Actually, I need to put the candle in first. I need that to go in first, because otherwise, what it is, the sweet night, it starts floating at the top, and I don't like that. So I'll just have two of those. I know some people have three or four of those, but not me. So uh, let's give it a go. And as you can see, you can't see any candorel floating at the top. And that's what I like. Let's get a splash of milk. I've not had my B, but you know, I can, uh, I can guess measure. Been doing it long enough to know. And I found out tonight, when you become a Target member, you don't have to measure your, your healthy choices. And uh, that's something I did not know. I'm glad I went to group tonight, so otherwise I wouldn't have known that. See, you learn something new every time. So image therapy is very important, guys. Take note. There we go, the tea is done for the boss. Right, guys, so this is the ingredients for the Mayflower curry. So what do we have? We have I normally wouldn't do this, but I'm going to add speed to the, because one third speed is the key to weight loss, as well as all this free food we have here. Oh, that's not free food, but the rest is. And you need that one third, because that is what boosts the weight loss. So I'm going to have some of this on the plate. Uh, I'm going to use a bit of onion, a bit of garlic. So let's go through this. So you, in this pack, you've got... Carrot, which is speed, broccoli speed, cauliflower speed, green beans is speed, and savoy cabbage, that is speed. All of that is all speed. Onion is speed. I'm pointing out the speed foods because some people who is new to Slimming World, they wouldn't know what I'm talking about. 
Onion is speed. Ch diced chicken is totally free on Slimming World. Okay, I've got two lots of that. Now this bad boy, okay, is Sims. And you can pick it up from Panland, B&M, Home Bargains, Farm Foods, and it's literally a pound. Now I believe 28 grams is around three and a half to four Sims. I can't quite remember. But it's one of the two. I know on the app it says it says it's three and a half sins. So it's three and a half to four. I've always sinned it as four. So it's always best to sin it more than what it actually is. Just, you know, to cover, to just to cover your butt, basically. Um, 28 grams. So we got some basmati rice. Dried rice is free. Uncle Ben's rice is sins. Okay, so that's the difference. Uh, fry light as well. And that is all the ingredients you need. It says to use peas. I don't do peas. Okay, so I'm not having peas in my curry. Right, yeah, guys, I'm just going to spray the pan with good old, my good friend, Mr. Firelight. I'm running out. I'm glad I bought one uh, yesterday. Or the other day. Yep. Don't want to come. Ow. Nope. All right, that's done. I'm going to stand in there all day with that. All right, that comes the new one. That don't even come out either. There we go. And we got lift off. Now my fingers are in. Right, that's all sprayed up. Um, what's next? Uh, I need to measure out the powder. That is the next important step. Uh, I've got the boiling water going for the veggies. Kettle's on the go for the rice. Out for the powder. There we go. I do like a good old Mayflower. I don't know about you guys. Uh, let me start on the good old garlic. Just trying to think on how I can do this now. There we go. The way it's Straight on the garbage that was. Straight on the garbage, so you see there the zero grams. So I'm sharing this between two people, so it's gonna run that around two cents, so it's not bad at all. I'll buy another one soon, I'm running low. That's nine, so that's one tablespoon, and that comes up with nine grams. Two tablespoons is 16 grams. Three tablespoons, 26. So I say two tablespoons in a bit, 27. 28, there we go. Perfect, as you can see, 28 grammage. It's quite a bit of powder, to be quite honest. As you can see, guys, that the water is going absolutely chaos. Bear with me, I'm just gonna pour the whole packaging in. Look at that. Now it says six minutes, but I'm gonna cook that because I like mine, I like soft veggies. I don't like crunchy veg. So I reckon around 15 to 20 minutes. And by then, good old uh, basmati should be cooked as well. While the water is boiling away, guys, I'm going to start on the good old the garlic. Now, I'm not chopping garlic. I'm going to crush it. Okay, that is my method. I like to crush things, not chop. That's one garlic. I will get round to that. Uh, oh, that's what I forgot earlier when I was chopping, to look for a wooden chopping board. I'll have to do that another day, guys. My apologies. I do forget things, you know. I've got a very bad memory. Do you know, apparently, a quick way of doing the garlic is to whack it in the microwave. Did you know that? Then literally, it just comes sliding out. Right, I'm going to cut that. I don't like that bad bit of the garlic. So I'm going to slice that bit off, okay? 
that looks a bit bad. Don't know why, it's all in good date. So now let's get crushing. There we go, garlic number one. Garlic number two. And garlic number three. So that's all ready, okay. It's all been done. Perfect. Right guys, the rice water is bubbling away like God knows what. So let's whack some rice in there. Or well, not literally whack it, uh, pour it. Okay. Maybe I am picking this for me and my good friend Lucy. She's had a good hard week on Slimming World, so she deserves a nice dinner. Right guys, I'm heating up this pan now because the rice is on the go, the veggies are on the go, so I need to get the, the garlic, the onion and the chicken on the go. Then I can start on the sauce. I'm going to start the sauce pretty soon as well. Oh, the sauce is quite easy. You just chuck it in the... Uh, add the water, chuck it in the microwave, the microwave does the job for you. Right guys, it's garlic time. Look at that, when it sizzles, you know the pan is hot. Right, garlic is in. Now we need some onions. Perfect. I'm going to cook that first, like for a few minutes before I add in the chicken. I thought I used the griddle pan today instead, you know what I mean? But why not guys, eh? I'll we'll start adding the chicken in a minute. So we've got some nice speed in there, we've got our speed on the side, a bit of rice. The only thing is I've got curry, I've got no poppadoms. I've got no naan bread either. But never mind, because that's just extra sins you don't need to use. It will still, you know, take like a naughty treat. And do you know what? This Mayflower is exactly what the Chinese use as well. And that is no word of a lie. Right, next, we're having the chicken. There we go, we just pop that in like that. Right, guys. I don't know. Do you think that will be enough, guys, for one person, two people? No, of course not. I need to add in the other one. Well, there's some left over, and then I'll just, I'll just whack it in the tub. Right. There goes in the second one. I suppose I could do it in batches, but mm, we'll, t we'll two lots overdo the pan. I don't know, we'll see. There we go. Flopped in, just like that. Look at that, that's lots of chicken in there, guys. So we're gonna stir fry this for around, I don't know, it's three to four minutes until the chicken is cooked. And then I'll, I might start the sauce now, actually, while this is cooking in the pan. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's just get the water ready, give that a good stir. I'm hoping this is uh, enough powder that I've put in. There's an awful lot of chicken here. I reckon this is enough for about four dinners. Right guys, chicken is done. Uh, I've done the sauce, so I'm just going to pour it over and hope for the best. There we go. That's looking about right. That's how it should look. So I'm gonna cook it in the sauce for around, I'm gonna simmer it for around two to three minutes, okay? It's looking good. I don't want it too thick. So around, yeah, three minutes I reckon, on the low heat. Hi guys, so dinner is served, and as you can see here, we've got the super Mayflower curry, we have my basmati rice, and we have my veggies, so that's my one, 
And this is Lucy's, so I'm hoping she's hungry. Um, Are you starving? Well, there you go, you heard it yourself. <laughs> so uh, there you go, a quick, simple, easy curry in a hurry. Well, guys, uh, that was awfully delicious. I thoroughly enjoyed it. My friend enjoyed it as well. So this, this is uh, pretty much it for the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll catch you again very soon. Take care. Bye.